How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Cat Lady. No, not the old horror game. This is a brand new game and a roguelike at that, which a creative looking, unique art style, cartoony, fun looking game like this with a silly theme of you being in your haunted grandmother's house. Roguelike gameplay. It checked a lot of boxes for me. Absolutely had to give it a try. It's out now in early access. Link below. You guys can go check that out for yourself. Fair warning. At the beginning of the game, it did have a photosensitivity warning, like trigger for people with ep ep epilepsy, things like that. So please be mindful of that. What a catastrophe. Allie Marie arrives at her grandma's cat-filled mansion, but is startled to find an ancient evil has awoken. All of grandma's possession possessions are possessed transforming them into monsters saying possessions are possessed is is just a f f weird mind bender and the cats could talk of course just as a little extra with the help of her cats Allie must find a way to turn the house back to normal by defeating the demons lurking in the mansion we hope you enjoy early access rose city games so yeah things might still be changing hello is anyone home hmm i should find grandma uh, yeah, there you go. That's a simple explanation of uh, introduction to the mechanics. I'm coming, Grandma. I I have two cats here, Mildred and Marshmallow, that follow me around. I guess they have their own little benefits and things. I hold the cat, and the cat casts magical spells. I wasn't really sure <laughs> what to make of that or how how I was going to attack in this world. Apparently I don't. I just have magical cats that do it for me. It's not even like they cough up hairballs or anything. They just shoot things. This is, is super weird. Where could Grandma be? Maybe she went down in the basement again. So we're gonna crawl our way down, Isaac style, I suppose. I have like fish and ghosts. I hate that place, but I guess I don't really have a choice. I'm sure your grandma would be fine. We could just leave her to fend for herself. It's unclear what, like, the doorways are. Am I even capable to get, uh, of getting over to those other rooms? Maybe none of this, it doesn't appear like any of this is actually anywhere you can investigate or actually go. This is just like a setup area to actually enter the real game. It's so dark and creepy. Let's find grandma and fast, okay? I'll blast my way through as fast as possible. Keep it aggressive. Hmm, what was that, that Grandma used to say? Allie, get rid of those boxes! Use the triggers to clear them out. I don't know what right, right clicking would do. Oh god, okay! So I can chuck my secondary cat, kind of as like a big splash damage thing. Oh, I can do both! So that's interesting, I can just keep holding this and then, at, with a the right click, chuck out an additional way of attacking. More boxes? Where does Grandma get all this stuff? Decades of hoarding. Marshmallow is your very talented secondary cat. Oh, I can have a primary cat and a secondary cat. I already figured that out on my own, though. This is, uh, supposed to be my first introduction to it, but I'm too smart. Oh, the first actual enemies here. Are those teddies? They look fine. I'm not worried about it. They don't look very friendly. Ah, oh, we have differing opinions. Sometimes you just have, like, intentionally nasty, goofy-looking teddy bears, you know? These guys seem totally fine. I like the way they change color to, to match the, like, peaceful, friendly blue of everything else. That's a, that's a fun little spin on things. Spike, what's going on? Is this Spike in the window? Oh, here. Allie, the mansion is haunted. You need to get back into the basement and look for Grandma. Have I gone back above? Don't forget to grab your secondary cat. You can interact with cats. I'm sure I'll figure that out. Some talk. Others will want to team up. Good luck, Allie. Find Grandma. There's like a slime cat over there. Oh my god, Marshmallow always just comes sprinting in. Don't forget about secondary cats. We just want to help. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll remember you, puddle of a cat. I'm scared. Why hasn't Grandma come back yet? The mansion got real weird when it got all haunted. Looks like we can't can't go anywhere but the basement till we can get a till we get a special key. A ninja cat? You find grandma? I'll protect everyone up here. Thanks for having a, a handle on things. 
Every time I step down in the basement, it's gonna be like a new iteration of things and I come back up. Need a special order? So here if I were to collect the skulls or ghosts or whatever they are, I can, I can get some additional items to make them available in the mansion. I don't necessarily get them instantaneously. Oh, Allie, when will it all end? Uh, since I can't afford any of that stuff anyways, there's no point drooling over the things I can't actually have. So instead I plan to just carry on down without it. And we'll figure it out after the fact. What the hell is this muscly top hat bunny? I guess he's got a top hat like, you know, pulling a rabbit out of a hat or whatever, but I still don't really understand what I was seeing there. Hey Allie, I found something. Want to share? Pick one of these things. I'm gonna keep the other one. A bag of kibble or crumbly kibbles. Attacks split when hitting enemies. I want that. I don't know what the seven kibble thing would have done. Oh, is this temporary? I don't know how long this will last. I'm hoping it sticks around. I don't even know if my previous attacks... Oh, jeez. Okay, he was powering up to something. Oh, anything with white sheets can be broken. It's not just boxes that, like, block a path. I don't even know if my previous attacks uh, pierced enemies like that before. That might entirely be new for me. I gotta discover what these little drops are all about. Okay. It's learning the attack patterns of different enemies in a game like this is typically like the most important starting point. Oh, nice. I got my first thing. You can see the, the items drag into a little bit there. I only had to be near it to collect it. I don't want to go down just yet. Now, now, oh crap, now that I've done the, uh, like, tutorial bit of all this, I gotta remember that I can just keep shooting. I don't have to disengage shooting to, to use my secondary cat move. Uh, I might, I might go multiple levels down before I go back up top again. It might have just taken me up top once, really early on, post-tutorial, just to show me that that was a thing. I, I won't bank on going back anytime soon. And that's fine. I gotta save up treats, Scooby kitty snacks, and the like in the meantime anyways. Oh, speaking of, look at all that that I'm raking in. I'm suddenly rich in ghosts. I'm guessing that's what I'm collecting, like the spirits of the, the haunting of the mansion. And I, I somehow collect it and spend that on uh, goods and services. As one would tend to do with a backpack full of full of that sort of stuff. Uh, it threw me off a little bit because this looks like the exact same room. Okay, it's not quite the same basement layout. But this particular room I think is the same as the one that I had just been in. Pick me up! Scrappy, the best little puncher around can knock some enemies back. Swap your primary cat. Okay, so I could, I could, oh, it's much more melee base now. And pick me up, blast enemies with lasers when guided to a position. Alright, let's see how to play around with that. Oh, this seems, he seems quite difficult to use, actually. Less straightforward to use at the very least. Oh god, I'm getting really cramped up here. Maybe going melee, maybe, it, maybe it's too early for that. I'm sure I do more damage. With, uh, with melee. Uh, th that's just my assumed trade-off there. But it seems like it might be tricky to use. Trade items for kibble. Kibble is the little fish snacks. Attacks may poison enemies. Attack quickly but inaccurately. And heal one damage. I will buy none of that just yet. I don't know, I don't really know how to make effective use of my turret guy yet. I, I guess I guess when I enter a new room, he automatically walks into the room, but then from there, where he goes is entirely my say. So when I walk into this room, or like when I clear a room, he follows on his own anyways, so I don't 100% of the time need to know what he's up to, but I gotta remember to bring him over to, to whatever those new enemies. Uh, the different wardrobes and things are possessed, like the game was saying about like, Everything in the house has become... All the possessions have become possessed. I gotta remember to break this stuff up. It's the only way I'm gonna make any hearts back. Like this room. I totally skipped out on all of it in this room. Hopefully there's a bit of kibble or something in there that I can use. Uh, I'll keep I'll keep my different cats. I'll, I'll stick with what I swapped out for for the time being. Okay. I, some, I somehow missed those stairs initially because they were like right... 
Ooh, I can break apart like anything white. It doesn't have to be things necessarily just covered in sheets. Uh, but I think I'd missed those staircases initially in the previous floor because they were just so near the start. Oh god, that, uh, the cat blasting things every which way like that was really messing me up. I was not holding my own very well against that. Yeah, the guy, we use that big, like, tracking beam attack like that. Uh, I, I was taking a lot of damage from that. I gotta be a little bit more cautious, I think. Oh, that guy could chuck his knife. I thought he was, like, pretty well strictly uh, melee. I thought I would have to get close for that to be a real concern. Ah, you can throw multiple of them, too. He doesn't even have to wait for it to, like, boomerang back or anything. Suddenly, he's a much bigger threat than I had made him out to be. Damn it. Took some pretty stupid damage on that one, actually. Ah, no heart waiting for me there. I got a decent supply of kibble, though. Maybe I can go spend the kibble somewhere. On this little, like, Ghostbuster-looking cat. I would like... Uh, I, I just get to pick one. Root collar enemies may gain a slow aura. Or just a big old bag of kibble. I want the big bag of kibble. And then I'll try and find an enemy that is... Uh, or, not an enemy, but one of those, like, salesmen. Oh, the, the wardrobe is generating. These little, little screaming ghouly guys. They're very cute, so it's hard for me to, like, describe them in a way that makes them sound anything other than just the cutest. But I'm trying to make it clear that they're bad. And I don't want these little screaming teardrop things. Ah, nuts. That was a dumb hit to take, I think. Sup, you dead? <laughs> Let's go home. What just happened? You just took a big hit. We managed to carry you back here, though. This binoculars? Thanks for doing that. Of course, we just dropped our goodies on the way back here. Uh, so I, I do have some ghost things still, but you still have that ghostly essence you collected. Maybe that was all the ones I had. Oh, well, good. Well, the ghosts all came back. All of them? What happened to Grandma's mansion? Don't worry, Allie. Our top cats are on the case. Let's keep exploring. You should talk to Dum Dum about getting more gear. Is that the guy in the window there? Uh, I sh I, now that I have a few ghostly essences, let's do it. Then I, I have somewhere to actually spend it. I don't know if these are just cute cats just inhabiting the world to give you reminders and things like that. They don't seem to actually do anything. But it would be interesting if as you progress more they gain uses of some sort. Purchase an item to make them available in the mansion. Right, so I, I might immediately get it. But the main thing is the long-term accessibility. Attack in short bursts. Attacks have knockback. Oh, I like the sound of the blaster. But I don't instantaneously get it, I don't think. There's, there's games like Undermine, where when you unlock items like that, uh, they're added to the item pool and you instantly get it. I don't think that's necessarily the case in this game. I had to remember to keep a constant flow of my two different attack options. Wet food donut. Attack slower but do more damage. I'll try that out. How much slower? It's eh, it's decently slower, but things usually don't sustain that many attacks before dying. So I feel like if I if I only have to land like one or two to finish the job, it seems pretty worthwhile. Okay, nope, furniture in the way. One, two, three. I don't know what it was before, but three seems pretty good to me. I'm I'm feeling decent about that choice. Marshmallow takes so long to do his like ground pound that lots of times I've killed things before he's had the chance. But he kinda has a radius, like splash damage, area of effect damage. Ah, that's just the way down. So if I can get multiple enemies with one stomp, then I guess that's uh, worth it. Even if it's like a slow coming attack. Wow, I was really getting trapped in the corner there. I think I touched one of the teddy bears directly. I, I don't know if touching them actually does any real damage, or if it's only when their literal attacks land that I need to worry about. Uh, I don't really want to test it though. Hopefully I'll discover that on accident at some point. I can have a little bit more confidence going into future possible threats. Down a level. I'm not, this is gonna be this is gonna be huge. I made it like a couple levels in. It was nothing too uh, impressive. Nothing to phone home about, you know. But this one. 
This is gonna be a big show-off round. Now I've learned everything there is to know about the game, combined with my awesome roguelike prowess. There's no stopping me, really. I'm gonna... I'm gonna set some all-time bests. Global records, not just personal. It's gonna be... One for the books. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pumping it up. And realistically, considering how quickly I died with such stupid seeming damages last time, I'm kind of equally suspecting things might just end at a moment's notice. But now I know to be more cautious. You... It, the game doesn't operate at the speed that uh, maybe something like... I don't know, Gungeon or Nuclear Throne operates at. It's a little bit slower than that, so I can stop and maybe think a bit more. Attacks chase enemies, fond memories, and attacks move like a wave. Groovy glasses. I'm gonna take the fond memories. Uh, having very slight homing missiles is what I'm gathering from this. Uh, it sounds like it would be incredibly useful. Oh yeah, they, they home slightly. That, that seems like it would be uh, especially useful for, for this cat. I'm purposely... I, I'm testing it a little bit to see, like, how far off it can be. It's the, it's the world's slightest drift. It doesn't really affect the secondary cat since the way he's thrown. It just, it just doesn't work out. Pick me up! Bla Hank blasts otherworldly hairballs using Hank's post-life connections. Post, like, death connections. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I, I, I might as well try out different cat types here. Oh wait, that, he's, he's the primary. Oh, so he just, he shoots a crazy amount of attacks uh, with not very strong range. But I'm thinking I still have higher damage. I don't think I would have lost that. Bats at enemies when kited to a position. So he's like, he's melee based then if I go stick you in a corner with... That, that's kind of funny, but I, I really have to mindfully place him then. I, I don't know. Oh, he runs around a little bit. Oh, that's because I just have to place him again. I thought he was going to run around and place himself. No, I think I have to really be on top of it. But whatever, we're really trying to get a, a sense of what exists in the game. So I'm okay with, like, playing around with different uh, mechanics and stuff. I'm willing to, rather than entirely just favoring what I think will actually be the best... Let's experiment a little bit, get a get a better feeling for things overall if I if I mix it up a little bit more regularly. I feel like I killed things in another room without even trying. I hardly even know what happened. I think my rapid fire in combination with my higher damage is uh, really kicking the ass of everything right now. I just want to plop him. Yeah, even he does really high damage. So when he swipes a little passerby. It's really damn useful for me. I like I like having my little buddy. Hey, Al Ally. Ally? I think I just suddenly all of a sudden got my mind broke there. I think it's Ally, right? <laughs> Found something. Three kibble. That's pretty weak. Or attacks pass through enemies. Yeah. So that's that's totally in that earlier example. Uh, the thing that you know it's split into two. Oh, they look like little swords now. Man, I'm getting all sorts of crazy combinations of interactions out of this. Just super fun. That's like the best part of games like this is like comboing together things. It's a shame I don't seem to actually look, care, like have different physical properties change as I'm upgrading the character, but I'll look the other way. Oh, I got stuck in the doorway a little bit. I hadn't quite fully walked out of there. Uh, but there, there was the one that I had that was like when you hit something, it splits into two, and I was looking at how that one um, was passing through enemies and I got all confused and I, and I forgot to be pay attention to it once I had reset the character. I don't think normal attacks pass through enemies. That's like a special upgrade I have right now. Wow, I can really just bomb into the room spraying like crazy and it seems to work out super well. I'm, I just need to find one health, try to get back ahead a little bit. Hmm, I think I'm going to keep my cat box, but what about you? Ramses shoots mystical orbs that chase enemies, also has a third eye. I already have chasing. Oh. Okay, I think I would probably prefer to have... 
Yeah, I don't like this very much. Oh, they much more demon teddies killed. Is there a boss in this room or something? Or oh, that might have been uh, like a specific number of them. That was like an achievement for killing a certain number. Now the game doesn't have achievements. Maybe it has in-game achievements. I'll have to investigate the menus later. I preferred this guy. I like, I like the fastness with which he blasts out attacks. Uh, that's too hard for me to give up. And I ended up taking damage in that other room because I was less well equipped than I was used to have being. Sorry, I got super distracted and then made the world's worst sentence of all time. I thought having a room full of, uh, he's just vomiting everywhere, vomited up little teddies. I thought having a room full of, of white boxes like that probably meant I was building up to something. Also, the, the room layout looked very specific coming up. I have my cat swiper, uh, box boy. I don't know what to call him, my Heidi cat. Uh, trying, trying to direct him and plant him near this boss here so when he's busy doing his vomit, vomiting, that I can hopefully still land some major damage on him, even I can't necessarily get as close as I would like. Oh, there it was. That was the type of damage combo that I've been trying to deal this entire time. He <sighs> got me once. He got at least one off on me. Oh, I can only hit him when he's vulnerable, I think. When there's white on him. When he's 100% red, like he was repeatedly. Is this permanent health? I never received King's Heart. Oh, you can see my different things in the top right here, too. But I don't know what King's Heart would have done. Now I'm flashing red. But yeah, I didn't realize... Oh, there's also a chest here? Whoa. There's something There's something fishy going on with some of the game uh, mechanics. I don't think him and the chest are supposed to be connected like that. I would like to open the... Oh, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, I almost lost that. It almost, like, disappeared into the wall. Good thing there's, like, the slight item grab from a, a slight distance there. Well, that's a huge payout for me then. Uh, but I didn't realize right away during the battle that I could only hurt him at specific times. That's why that battle took a little while. Oh, Allie, is that you? Yes, Grandma. What the hell are you doing down here? Did you see that very large gentleman? You okay, Grandma? Oh, yes, I'm fine. Just spending some quantity time down here. Quantity? <laughs> nice work, Allie. I'll take Grandma upstairs. Keep looking for the source of the haunting. No, oh, that's nice to know we'd rescued Grandma already. Oh, my box cat was still hitting, sitting in the other room. I realized I could have been doing a voice the whole time, and then there was only one line left by the time I made that decision. I like the idea that she's spending quantity over quality time down here. It doesn't really make sense. It seems like a typo, but it's kind of funny at the same time, regardless of if that was intentional or, intentional or not. And now we have... Oh, a totally new, like, biome area. We got, like, the forest to go into. Very different room layouts now, too. They're not they're not quite so structured. Now, now we're just kind of getting stronger variants of things. No teddy bears anymore. Now there's some sort of weird bat ghost creature whose design is very cool. I kind of love it. And his attack pattern is very terrifying. Uh, I'm a little worried about it. Ah, the changing color thing is awesome. Because I love that the... The character or the enemy stays on screen that you can see like precisely where it was but it like no longer is a threat it's like funny dumpy statue of a naked woman probably the grandma covered in cats with like a leaf in front of her private bits there that's absurd but hilarious Ooh, some some statues Ooh, the way is like eyes or face melted or pride or something it's like funny facial expressions uh, I wish I could see behind that tree, actually. It makes it very difficult to tell what's going on. That when you walked near it, if it cut it away or made it transparent or something, so I could actually see through, uh, that would be useful. But yeah, the visual cue of colors of enemies is really, really great. What would you like to give me? A ton of kibble, or enemies may gain a slow aura. I have a lot of kibble. I'll try out the maybe slowing things down option. And I don't know if that's just from me being near them, or if it's uh, when I attack them. Oh god, gets a little bit bullet hell, I gotta take that guy out, because he's just making absolutely everything more difficult to deal with. It's too much, too much for me. He's not equipped to deal with that. Try and 
blast those guys as quick as possible when walking into a room. That'll be my new... Oh! There's not bed sheets to break anymore, but there's these uh, these bushes with a little bit of little bit of white on them. That's what I need to be breaking to be in search of uh, health and things like that. Something to keep in mind. Something I had not been doing for any of these rooms. Uh, I might walk back a couple of rooms. Health is always good. I'm getting lots of health, but I was hoping maybe they would have some kibble, or some ghost essences for me, or anything else. Health was the thing I needed the least of, realistically. <laughs> Phew. Okay, I was uh, worried that as soon as I made it to a new biome like this that things would just come to a roaring halt. That I wouldn't be prepared, I wouldn't know the different enemy attack patterns and stuff. Luckily, I think I'm in the midst of a bit of a, an OP run. Considering it's the second run I've ever done, I don't know enough about the game to maybe definitively say that, but I seem to be getting away with things uh, in a way that I wouldn't expect to at this stage in the game. A little barbecue pit and picnic table. Yeah. Ah, damn it, I ran right into him there. Took some touch damage, I think. Yeah. I just... I think I'm pretty set for a little while, as long as I play smart. It's unclear to me why this room didn't turn white. You can see that one that I went to. The starting room never seems to. This one, like, just definitely, definitely didn't. But yeah, it's the, I thought they turned white as you visited them, so I'm not sure why that room had been overlooked. It's not even the first time I've noticed that happen in the minimap, but that's the first time that I stopped and inspected. Shoots multiple damaging lovums with every big smooch? Whoa, okay. Hmm, three's a bit better than the two I had with that other guy. If I, I have been playing where I kind of just run at things very quickly, if I, because then I can hit them potentially with two or three of those at once. It seems very effective. I'll, I'll switch to the smooch blower. Mostly because I think it's adorable that I get to watch this little kitty cat blow smooches. I think he does it more when I stop. Yeah, every time I stop, that he puts, he, she, whatever, puts it back and blows a new smooch. But then they, the arms stay out for continuous attacking. It's silly, it's adorable, I like it, and I plan to commit to it for a little bit. Oh my goodness, I have no idea how I escaped that. Alright, I... Eh, I'm still thinking that possibly I was doing a better job with the rapid rate of fire guy. Maybe I still end up changing back. The speed at which it shoots and the range work out in a way that seemed to be kind of counter to the play style that I was getting increasingly accustomed to. I gave it an honest shot. Now I want you back. I love that these cats are all just walking around and pick me up. They just want to be held. It's little darlings. Pretty much overlooked up until this point by myself. The music in this game has been really fun as well. Attacks pass through enemies? I already have that. It's like actively I'm pointing right at it. Attack in inaccurate bursts. I could buy that twice? Or heal. Uh, inaccurate? That doesn't sound like it would match well with what I am currently, like, working with. I'm gonna go with the passing through things. I just wanted to see if buying the same thing twice visibly showed a times two or, or highlighted that it had, in fact, doubled up in some way. Oh my god, those mushrooms. All right. They do not have a lot of health. They're very easy to take down. But man, oh, I'm I'm getting messed up in this heavily flowered area here. It's like hard to see what's going on. Uh, it's hard to approach things. Damn it! I oh my god, no! That even I I didn't even realize I was on like that. There was a path there until I was already on it, and then I was so cornered. I could have gone wide around it and I would have been fine. That was just kind of a poor path to choose. Damn, I got hammered there. At least I can go back and like talk to grandma? Man, she got weird. I've already talked to you. Crying cat, I don't remember seeing you. Why are magic mansions so big? I lost my favorite toy. Oh, these poor kittens. That, that's funny that the cats that you find up here has, have changed some. The kitties just love it when you come by. Oh, so Grandma is, like, saved. That's, like, taken care of then. 
Uh, she doesn't sell us items or, or anything like that. It's just, she's, she's back. And I can quickly purchase a few things to, to unlock. Have I ever seen you? When will it all end? Yes, this hopeful, forlonging cat, forlording cat is still here. A lot of things that I could unlock. This got cheaper even. I swear that this cost like 12 before. I don't know if that's because I've got further in the game or if it randomizes. Sniper cat data. Blast enemies with long range melon seeds he stores in his cheeks. Oh, that's, that's an entirely new cat that I could find. New like primary cat. Uh, I, I, I imagine that would be a primary cat. So that was worth it, but that also means I can't really buy much else. So would I rather have permanent health increase? That seems really useful. Courtyard key. Oh, you can explore new areas with that. Would that be a shortcut that you start in the courtyard? Is that where I just came from? That might be what that's all about. Uh, attacks, chase enemies. Mm, I've already had a thing that does that. Attacks travel further. That seems really good, actually. And short bursts. I do want the toy bow plus plus, because, like, that has been quite limiting for me, honestly, is when they just don't travel very far. Uh, and short bursts. Mm, no. Instead, I would, like, I would save and, and try and build some up a little bit. Couple A couple runs showing a couple different areas, a couple different uh, upgrades and cats and things is probably enough of what I want to show in the game for now. Let me know what you guys think of Cat Lady. Thank you again to everyone who participated in that vote. It's really awesome. I'll try and do those at least like once a month. I did two this month. Might even do a third. Uh, un uncertain. But it, they are very helpful for me. Uh, there's too many games out there. So it's really nice to know specifically straight from you guys what you want to see. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon.